And today I want to talk about faith. I want to talk, I am, you know, a child of God. And most of the time when people talk about faith, they talk about their relationship with the Lord, which is great. But that's not what I want to talk about in this video. I have a really awesome relationship with the Lord. He's kind of my buddy. He messes with me, he tests me, challenges me. Sometimes I don't listen. I can go on and on and on about my relationship with the Lord. But something kind of new has risen in my faith. And I just, I need to share it with you guys too, because if it's something that I don't do, then there's gotta be other people out there that forget about it as well. So, and it's it's crazy because we, we build our relationship with the Lord, but we forget about how powerful He can really be and how He has power over the enemy. And that's what this video is about. Um, recently, Jordan's been listening to Kenneth Copeland in the car. So instead of listening to music, he'll listen to Kenneth Copeland, right? Um, just for you know a short period of time right now. And he was sharing with me something that Kenneth Copeland was talking about. And if you've ever, you know, talked to me or if we've done any kind of Bible studies or stuff together, you know that I love symbolism. I love relating stuff to life, real life type of stuff that you can understand just because it makes it easier to wrap our brains around something so great and something so grand. Because something like the Lord's love is just so complex that we need little things to relate to. So Kenneth Copeland was talking about rebuking the enemy. And when Jordan told me about this, I was like, dang, that's something I definitely don't do. And what that does is it kind of leaves a lot of room for the enemy to just kind of come in and wreak havoc on your life and on your emotions and who you are and make you feel shameful and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, the Lord gives us a suit of armor, put on your full suit of armor. He gives us God's armor. If you look at that scripture, he says his armor, God's armor. So it's not Leanne's armor, it's not your armor, it's God's armor. We get to stand and wear it. We got power over the enemy and we need to start utilizing it. And so what Kenneth Copeland was talking about is he was trying to relate kind of like what the enemy is and how our reaction should be to it. So I want you to think about swine. I want you to think about like the nastiest pig you can imagine in your life. Got it? Nasty pig, gnarly, it's got his little things going on, right? So now I want you to imagine that pig has been rolling around in the mud. It's just rolling around in the mud. It's all nasty. It's smelly. It, the mud contains some feces and poop and pee and food slop and bleh. It's gross. Nasty little pig. Big pig. Fat, hairy. It. Nastiest pig you can think of, okay? I think I described it enough for you to get it. Now imagine that pig came into your house, ran all over the room, was making a mess of everything, knocking stuff over, ripping up the carpet, ripping up the, the couch, getting mud all over the place, destroying your property, destroying everything you have. That's the enemy. That's what the enemy's like. Now, I want you to think about what you would do in that situation. If a pig was running amok in your house, destroying everything of yours and making, you know, making just a mess of what you have. Are you gonna go up to, to the pig and say, excuse me, Mr. Piggly Wiggly, I'd really appreciate it if you would get out of my house. Now, how well do you think the pig's gonna respond to that? How well do you think that's gonna work And getting the freaking pig out? You gotta say, get it, get it, piggy, get out of here. You gotta get angry, you gotta get loud, not angry, don't get angry. You gotta get loud. You have to get seriously loud and you have to get very, very serious about getting that pig out of your living room. That's just like when the enemy comes and attacks you. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Eli! What? Okay. So, back to it. <laughs> this is my nephew, Eli. Do you want to be in the video too? I'm talking about how to rebuke the, rebuke the enemy. Uh-huh. Okay. So, when the enemy comes at you, you need to... You need to stand tall and you need to use the power of God to rebuke him. You can't just say, oh, I really wish my life was better. I really wish that, you know, this stuff would go away. No, it's to say, this stuff is not what God intended for my life. This is not the way that God designed me to be. I have the power of God inside of me. I have, I have that power. 
So just constantly asking God all the time to help you is silly. That's like, you know, I don't, I don't know of another example, but you know, think about how silly that is. Think about, you know, if you have, what's that face you're making? <laughs> if you have the power of God inside of you, to, He gave you that so that you could go and rebuke the enemy whenever you needed to. Use it. So I hope that this encourages you. I hope that it made you laugh a little bit. Eli's laughing a little bit. You got to see my real life. I'm gonna try to work from home. My nephew comes in and stuff. I really, really hope that this inspires you though. And I hope that, I know it did something for me. I know that like hearing that, I was like, dang, I really don't stand up to the enemy. I, I kind of take the enemy as a joke. You know, the enemy is a joke. You know, he's a, I like to think of him as a fisherman. Um, Jordan's dad explained it to me that way once and he just he throws in bait and he tries to see what you catch he he wants to see what you catch and then when, as soon as you start to bite on some sort of bait he's gonna reel you in and he's gonna keep throwing that bait out he's gonna keep throwing that same bait because you bit at it so just start to start to be very very aware about what kind of bait the enemy's using against you and freaking rebuke it get real loud get real serious stand tall in your faith and in the power that god gave you and go get him I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. I'm out. Hey, if you just grew your confidence by gaining more confidence, be sure to share the love by sharing this video. Also, subscribe so you don't miss another thing. And of course, leave a comment below so that we can chit chat.